Hi, so I'm Tammy with The Peach Life, and today I want to share with you guys my Foxy Fix A5. It is my art journal, kawaii journal. It is a Foxy number eight. So if you're wondering on that little size, I added from Wonton and a Million, their little gold foil guy. And then this was done by Foxy, and it says Koi Journal. So I love that. And I have the little gold fox and pip bow. Fox and pip. So I did this video before, but I had to remove it because I had some like important information in there. And I always feel like, oh, it's fine or it's no big deal. But it but it is a big deal. And I and I needed to remove it, and so I did. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys inside. I wonder if I can scoot that back a tiny bit. I'm gonna move that camera just a pinch for you guys. Okay, hopefully that stops. There we go. All right, so here's the little front cover of mine, and I'll just tilt that up a little for you. So this is actually a, a Disney World Park map. And from that map, I sort of just cut it and <clears throat> made the front cover. The cover is uh, a Midori A5 co cover, but it is on my Hobonichi. It works perfectly. And then I used some extra little stickers from Pretty Sheepy. And what's that other little shop that I just love? Birch and Birdie. And so they have really cute, they're an Etsy shop really cute little Disney stickers and let's see here this is where I keep my extra little travel like on the go stickers so I'll share a little of that I keep my little Hobonichi board there's Thomas we have a little spe same as the last video <laughs> we have Thomas joining us hi buddy can you pick a little spot and yeah, he's bumping the camera. Okay, so in here is just like extra little stickers and things that I keep with me. Keep it moving, buddy. Keep it moving. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay, he's really active with us today. So just some extra little sticker guys, some postcards. Um, Karen, one of the girls in our planner group, Oh my gosh, her stop, her shop is so little adorable goodness. I'm going to have to link that down below for you guys. Um, I'll actually put it in the little information section. Oh, and another one of the ladies that has joined our group, her daughter has done um, an anime type book. And it's her first publishing. It's a little novel. And so that's lovely. And this was like a little special postcard for that so I want to add that to my little kawaii journal and then just here I keep some extra little goodies and there's a little sticker shop and I'm going to just zoom in on that the kawaii shop it's Etsy and this is it here and I'm going to show you some of her stuff in my art journal so I want to make sure I give you guys a little close-up of that name but I covered the addresses here but this is so cute the little happy mail very cute that my stuff came in some extra little stationery and stickers and such so that is sort of just like what's in my little front pocket there of my little kawaii journal and then I'll just tuck those in and then this is just some extra little stationery goodies and I sort of just get my stationery from a little bit of everything from, from trading or Etsy or gifts, a um, lot of little shops online, um, a really cute shop that has a lot of little Japanese cuteness is, um, well, Jet Pins has some, but I mean like a local little, not a local shop, but like someone, uh, an, She's not an Etsy shop, but she has a planner group. It is um, Planner Shop. It's shop with S-H-O-P-P-E, so two P's and an E at the end. 
Really cute. Lots of really great stationary stuff. Tokyo sticker. That is coming all the way from Japan, though, where the planner shop is here local. She has really cute um, Facebook group. She's always getting in lots of cuteness. So, okay, let's get started. Um, this is my Hobonichi. It is the, the yearless one, the day free, I believe is what it's called. And I just sort of decorate it with all those little things that I love. It's the 2020 except for I'm not doing it in any particular like everyday order. I'm just sort of um, utilizing it for how I feel or when I feel I'd like to use this one. I normally just um, do my stuff in the A6 and I find that I do like the size of A5 to, um, to put some of those larger items and things in there that I wanna keep. And this is just my monthly little calendar. And a lot of these are just um, little pictures that I've printed as stickers to add into the dates. And then I will go back just for a second to show you, like here, I've started to add in um, stationery stores, Etsy stores, shops online, uh, coupons, codes, YouTube. So things like that that I'm always sharing. And then in that moment, I draw a blank. So I'm trying to get that from all the different little spots and put it in one place so that when somebody asks something or brick and mortar stores and things like that, I will have that available. So May, obviously May with our quarantine and things like that, I sort of checked out there for a moment. So hopefully here for June, I will get back on track and adding in some cute little photos. So it just goes on. And then one of the girls, Layla, in my, um, oops, sorry, in my A Peach Life plan Planner group that we have here in Peachtree City, Georgia, she gave me these little adorable stickers. She did not love them. And to me, I love them so much. They're so cute, these little bears. So just goes to show you. One person may love something where another person's not so fond. So we always try to like share and, and um, trade and things like that. So getting started here. This is just my Star Wars. Now that I tilt this for you, I feel like there's a, a better way to have shared and showed this. Okay, so this is still in progress from a little Star Wars from a trip to... Um, Disney World for Hollywood Studios there with the new Star Wars land and then just some little pages inside my A5 here that I wanted to share with you guys so I do love the larger size so that when I cut things down or certain things I want to keep I can put that right in and then this is sort of just like a note to myself for that year, for this year. And here, this was sort of like to kick off my new year and to put my 10 things on my list that I'm going to work on and work towards and fulfill this year. But it's interesting that number one, it says love. Love is always the answer and to send love. And it's so true and it's interesting that here we are now in June and I have not updated this. And I guess it's just because that truly that is the main thing. And in all things, like I just try to always remember and try to do is just to send love. Because even if it's something you're mad about or angry, in the end, there's just no way to ever be wrong when you just send love to something. When you truly send love and believe and care like that. So, and how really it can change the world. So I'm really sappy and I really believe that. And so it's no surprise to me looking back in June that that is my one thing still left there. That in all else, when you're unsure of something or what to do, you can never go wrong with sending love. So, okay. So then this is just more of little stuff in my pages. 
and maybe little um, cute notes or quotes or affirmations that I may jot down and write. And these are just little cute stickers and things from shops that I want to keep. And I love having one little spot to organize it all in. And same here. This is about my little planner group and we have such a wonderful group of ladies that are just so loving and kind and wonderful to be around. I'm just so thankful for them. And so just some more little journaling. This page I really love because I wrote, I wrote some things, but basically the gist is it's funny how things you think you don't, you're not a fan of that you can one day actually grow to love. So Gudetama, even though he's like starting to outbeat Hello Kitty in the Sanrio world as a Sanrio character, I was like, who would love that little egg gross guy? And then he became like a little joke between me and my bestie. And now we actually send each other Gudetama stuff. And he's sort of like, so gross, he's cute. And, um, and they do cute little egg buns of him. So anyways, so something that I was not a fan of, but now that I love so much. So I sort of journal about that. And the same goes with Jelly Belly popcorn flavor. I love it. I love it so much now. And I'm just like, that would be the grossest. And so see, you just never know. And it just also reminds me to be open-minded and to give things um, an opportunity. I'm going to put... Well, I'm talking so much, I was going to put a little background music for you guys, but I don't want it to be too much. I added this little picture because I literally had birds like this as a kid, Fred and Ethel, and yet I can't find pictures of them. Hi, passing through. And just like positive words and affirmations and things like that, I add to my art journal. And this one is just... This one is just really about little funness. I have others. Buddy, really? You are really passing through a lot. So I have others that are really more on quotes and positivity and love and goodness and just things that really struck and stick with me. This one's a little more fun and creative. And so... These here, I don't know if I've shared with you guys and showed you. It's my faux memo um, little sticker thing. Let me just bring this up and pull that out for you guys. Hi, Tom. We just kind of need in here for a moment, little buddy. Okay. So this is it. It's called faux memo, and it prints um, stickers and things, and it's all done through an app on your phone. And so I'll show you, I'll try to remember now, moving forward to point that out. So this is one of the stickers and this here. And then, is there any on this page? There's not, but I believe we did pass some up here. I'll just see if I can quickly peek back and show you guys. Okay, maybe not, but Anyways, moving along, it's really cute. And <laughs> goofball, please. I really try to let the cats be and not say too much because usually it, it promotes them to continue. Okay, all right. <laughs> but today it's clear Tom just really wants some attention. Okay, so no. So here's some more little pages and little goodness. And these are just like, here's one. This is from the little um, faux memo and I just ordered mine on Amazon. And this is the newer version, but I hear they're all sort of great and wonderful. Okay, <laughs> darn you, I didn't catch him in time. And these are just like little bits and pieces from like my packaging and other little cute things or that people give you that I just can't bear to toss or what or why would I want to so I just add them in here and it's just like a book of goodness and this sort of just is my little 2020 year of the rat 
which is my year this year for the year I was born. And this was a little cute event in Chinatown and the st store is called um, Maomi Bookstore, which means little kitty. And they have like super lovely stationery. I share it with everyone. It's here in sort of like uh, up in Georgia just outside of like the main area, Atlanta area. And then here's a little card and I have a photo that I need to add to there. This was created with the Fomemo printer and so is this. And I'd like to use my, my little mild liner um, brush markers to sort of fill them in. And then, um, a little thank you that I got. And this is my kitties. Just a little cuteness. So this was made, this kitty was made from the foam memo machine and then I just added some little stickers. But you can, through your app, you can type words and whatever you want really on it. You can really alter and make changes quite a bit. And then this was a little Hello Kitty that I had that I sort of just added in there. Along with this, just some pre-pages that I'm working on that I just have randomly added in. The little Pico Chan candy. And I think that's it for now. And again, this is not the daily, There's, it's the undated. And so I sort of just love that because it can last me half the year it can last me a couple years i can kind of just work on it as as i um just sort of am inspired okay and then here's the back and again that is from one of the disney maps and then i sort of just juiced it up a little and then at the back here i added a secretarial pocket excuse me insert and it just holds like extra little stationery and things. Just little goodies. And some more over here. Just a few little bits and pieces. Hi, Thomas. He's really asking and wanting little love. This is cute. This was for my little friend, Holly. Um, just like all the little cute things. So, in the back here, I have, it looks like, a few more like little stickers and things like that. And then I have these, which is washi tape, just on these little plastics so that I can, um, usually it's really easy, but just like a little grab and go washi for on the go where I don't have to have lots with me, but I have some. And these are just little, uh, sort of like washi tape strips. And I have two little booklets of that. And this is my little pilot, I believe, a uni, pilot, uni style pin. It's the multi-click and it's, um, little Disney and dots and it's pink purple and sort of like a, a teal so that is perfect for on the go so if I ever I'm just meeting up with a friend for coffee a little planner friend and we're going to work on a few little things this is just sort of perfect on its own to just grab and take with me because I have so much of a little of everything to go ahead and just start um, creating with so anyways, there's a look inside my art journal or kawaii journal. Um, it doesn't really, oh, there they go. I, I had shared, maybe it was this video, maybe my other one, how my husband and boys are working on a little project around the house. So anyways, that's them hammering away. But again, it's my art journal, kawaii journal. You can call it your planner. You can call it your journal book, your truck. However, it doesn't really matter what you call it. It's just about how you want to utilize it and enjoy it, which is the most important. So I hope that gives you some ideas, a little look into mine, 
I have other videos with my A6 size, some with a lot more um, little inspiration and uh, things like that. So if you have any questions, just leave them down below in the little comments for me and I always make sure to answer. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Bye.